Hello YouTube. Today we will be building a stable in our Wild West town. We are going to uh, start out with the stable. Uh, over here we will build a water tower and then we will continue uh, building some buildings down this way that are pretty much old western looking buildings. At least the uh, best we can do it. So to start out with uh, we will start on this uh, stable or barn, whichever you want to call it. Uh, the total distance that you will uh, have your blocks at all together is going to be, that will be 19 all together, but your barn's actually going to stop here and go back like this and back like this. This over here is just going to be a little uh, fenced in area so it's actually going to end up being 8 to there that count that block to that block is 8 it'll be 12 to that block and another 8 back to that block right here and then your barn will end up being uh, see 11 blocks starting on that block to there it will be 12 blocks to that one there and back to that one and back to that one and this right here that's going to be your barn and that is just going to be a little uh i guess you'd say a yard for uh the horses to play in. So, all in all, let's get started. Okay. Uh, we are using the John Smith Legacy Texture Pack, by the way. Uh, that's the one we use. And we are on a modded server, so you will have to uh, probably find which blocks you want to use. But these are the blocks we're using. Uh, this right here is redwood planks. They, and we will start at this corner right here. You're going to go one, two, three, four. You're going to jump one, two, three. And then you're going to go one, two, three, four again. You're going to stack them up uh, four blocks high. Like so. And over here the same thing. It's a pretty simple barn, nothing fancy. Uh, whoops. Kind of the only the millionth time I built this building, I should have it by uh, mind right now and got it down to an art. But if Minecraft was that easy, then I'd be uh, getting paid for doing this stuff. <laughs> so anyway, so uh, you're going to start here. You will go down this side counting this block you'll go one or two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve you're gonna stack them up four just like the front of the barn or stable depending what you wanna uh, call it uh, this is kinda of the first time I did a video I hope it turns out okay but I've uh, restarted like five times since I started trying to record this thing. So uh, we will go back here to the back. We are going to repeat the front. So that would be counting this one here. Two, three, four. You're going to jump three and then go one, two, three, four. These are going to come up four. Like so. Same thing on this side. Like I said, it's nothing fancy. It's like uh, if you want a really quick barn or a stable for your uh, old western town or something, you know. Uh, you will come down this side. It will go all the way to, oops, right about, let's see, yeah, right there should be appropriate. Because you need a little door left there uh, so your uh, horses can come out or cows. In my old town it is a stable so it is going to be uh, horses in here when we're done 
Uh, let's see here. Okay, uh, have to make a slight change right here. I had to go look at uh, where I was have this at so I could uh, make sure. So I slightly miscounted. So this will be two blocks above the door. So your door will end up being uh, right in here. You're not going to use grass, but that's all it'll be is a two by two block. Uh, knock the board out. God, you got to love these... Uh, glitches and stuff in Minecraft, you know, you're playing and you play stuff you didn't intend to play. Okay, so, and uh, we got to put one more layer on top of this, which will make the barn slash stable uh, five blocks high, like so. It'll wrap the whole top of our barn. As you can see, so all in all, let's see here. From there to there ends up being uh, to here. Here, it's five blocks in all. And, all right. You will take, uh, get out your fences. You'll put them right here. These come out eight from right here where they attach. They go out eight. We'll leave the red wool for right now, but you can, you know, this is how I mark out my buildings to help me uh, build them a little better. And now it decided it wanted to rain on us. So we are going to make it back daylight and stop the rain. So, should end up with a fence like that. It comes all the way around. Goes to right here. That's going to be so your horses can be brought out to uh, graze a little bit. You can do a bigger one. It doesn't matter. This is just what we're using. Uh, so you should end up with something looking like that. That should be what you have. Um, we're going to go back and put this stuff through the middle of the barn, or stable, depending on what you want to call it. It'll go right through here because there will be little stalls here, and some stalls on this side here. There will be a ladder to go up into the hayloft there, and you can use the gates from Minecraft to put here if you want, or just leave it open. doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. Alright, so, that's what we got. Okay, you are going to get your... We kind of have them already out, so, let me see. Uh, we, by, again, like I said, uh... I am using a modded uh, server, so you may not have all these blocks. It's pretty much your choice on what blocks you want to use. Um, this here is redwood blocks. A lot of this comes from biomes of plenty and things of that nature. So, But we are using dark oak wood plank covers. They will go above our door like so. One, two, three, four this gives it some you know look other than just boring um, let's see we will just so I can show that this is how it's gonna go uh, all right this here is sandy dirt um, we won't need it well actually I better put some right there and right there uh, then you're gonna take Let's see. Coarse sandy dirt or gravel, whatever you want to put, and you're going to run it clear through to the back like so. Or you can make it all concrete or pretty much whatever you want 
the inside of your stable to be. But I like the look of the this stuff I'm using, the sandy dirt and uh, coarse sandy dirt. It just kind of gives it that nice little cool look to it. Uh, we'll go to each side of the door here, a couple of blocks, not important, it's just cosmetic work here. Uh, you can pretty much just do whatever you want. I just like doing it this way. Makes it have a little more life than just boring everyday Minecraft. So, your front should basically look like that. Now we are going to get out our uh, on here a second. Our carpenter's wedge slopes. They will go up here uh, for people using regular Minecraft. Stairs work just as good. Uh, these have a lot prettier look to them because they give it a little more life than just stairs. But if you don't like using mods, well, you pretty much have to do what you do. So that'll go like that. Pretty much the same thing down this side here. Whether you're using carpenter slopes or stairs. Oops, I gotta go back and correct that one. It's pretty much the same thing. I'll do one more row. Okay, now your front, you're gonna pretty much go up like this, just like you would in everyday Minecraft. Um, there will be a door right here. It's going to be the pretty much the center of your bottom door. Um, let's see. Yeah. It is only too tall. The doorway from let's see. There to there, to this one, and this one, that's only two blocks between there. From this side to this side, as you can see, one block opening. Yeah, my one hotkey is tripping two different menus. So your front should basically look like this. You will come across like that. So let's see. You should end up with roof going like this and like that. That should be how it goes. Um, you know, I could tell you how many blocks it is from here to there, but, you know, it's pretty obvious how many blocks it is. So, you know, if you want to know, you can uh, email me or send me a comment or something. I'm sure I'll get a lot from this video uh, telling me I messed up, but hey, can't help it. First video, I've been playing Minecraft for a long time, but... This is the first time I've actually tried to video myself playing, which is definitely different than what I'm used to. So, if I bore you to death, just humor me a little bit. Anyways, alright, you're going to go on the inside of your barn, right here. Uh, we are going to put a floor that will be... Uh, let's see probably right in here is where it's gonna hit which is gonna be fifth block from the bottom is where it's gonna be so uh, let's see I think I was going to use oak so let me go out here see if I got my oak somewhere and it looks like I misplaced my all right 
you're going to put, I said it will be one, two, three, four on the fifth block. Uh, these I'm just putting there so you can see what I'm doing. You're going to put oak right there. You're going to leave a uh, opening. You will have a ladder that will pass up through there. So you're going to leave that an opening like that. Um, and this will cover all of that in there. But for right now, we are going to uh, leave it open like that because we need the daylight down inside the stable to do the rest of the inside work. Okay, I'm using uh, micro blocks so I may be doing some stuff that if you're playing regular Minecraft you may have a hard time doing. I'm sure there's a way you can improvise. So this here is a uh, Oakwood Planks uh, strip. You will go one, two, click it twice. Oops, like so. We are building our uh, little stalls for our horses. Uh, it's two blocks wide. You will go just to the side right there of the second block if you're using uh, micro blocks gonna repeat pretty much what we did up there then you're gonna take uh, let me see here oakwood planks covers you're gonna go there there and there uh, and then these are going to be three tall there there, there, and there. Okay, we are going to build, I think it's uh, one, two, three of these. Okay, you're going to go just to the side. You're going to go one, two, go to the side. Same thing, like so. These will be also three tall. And you're pretty much going to repeat what we've done so far. Uh, let's see, we got room, it looks like, for one more. So we go just to the side. Micro blocks are so fun, you can just do so much detail that you cannot do in regular Minecraft. And that is why I prefer regular Minecraft. Or that gum modded packs excuse me modded packs because you can just do way so much more building and this mod pack by the way is Technics uh, ticket legends that is the mod pack I am playing on and I've actually added more mods into it but that is the mods that come with the ticket light or ticket uh, legends excuse me we I'll get this right I'm trying, people. <laughs> so anyways, all right, you end up with three stalls down that side, and then you're going to go to the other side, and there will be four down this side. Same pretty much way we did that side. As soon as I can get my blocks to cooperate here, they will be... Uh, same two blocks wide on the edge of the third block you will do this this they will be oops three high then you will take your uh, oak wood planks covers go down the side like that so you end up with that look right there let's see yeah then you will go over one, two, on the edge of the third. You'll put another one. This, give, this side will have four stalls, where the other side had only three. Because we had to leave our door right there. So we can go one more on that side than we could this side. So, eh, But I might leave it three. It may, you know, it doesn't matter. You can, it's one of those things you can do whatever you want with. 
you can make the building bigger and longer if you want but I am just trying to make a simple building not nothing too high-tech some of the other buildings that will be part of this uh, Wild West town that I'm building will definitely have a little more detail than these ones but it's a stable come on it's not a palace so hey <laughs> all right okay now we're gonna do some more detail work uh, right in here which would be one one two on the third one third block uh, let's see here third block right there uh, we are going to put a little piece uh, it's right as you go to the corner of the third block it will come across like that and again uh, let me see yeah we will double click it so it makes it that size right there see how that's just coming along pretty nicely there and you will go to the next one it come out just like this and next one you will do uh, the same thing as you did that one so you end up with this look right here just like that All right. On this side here, it's going to be the same thing. Bottom of the third block, you will come out like this. Double click. For those of you not using a modded pack, this may be something you kind of have to work out for yourself. I really have never done this in uh, vanilla Minecraft. So, you know, I don't know, oops, put them in the wrong spot, of course. Sometimes the micro blocks just don't cooperate. <laughs> so, you just go with it. Hmm. Yeah, just wasn't looking right for some reason. Okay, that's what you should have right there. That down that side, like so. We are pretty much to almost being done with the barn. Uh, if I didn't explain it good enough, feel free to email me. I still think I got to put it on my channel so people can email me. But anyways, all right, we will work on some more of the barn. Okay, here we can get out. I don't think I got them out, so we will get a couple of gates, put them right there. Regular, that's regular Minecraft gates, right there. on to do some more work. All right, you will go right here at the door. Let's see. This is where the micro blocks gets just a little bit tricky. Okay, you're going to go right off the top of what we already put there, as you can see. Uh, here and here, they're laying right across the top of our other blocks. Uh, the micro blocks are fun like that. They will uh, connect into each other like that as long as it's the same uh, wood. Oops. 
knock that off but we'll we'll go back and put it in it's not a big deal it's just a little technicality there they sometimes they just if you try to let them lay one way they want to lay a whole different way so sometimes you just go with it <laughs> but anyways you're pretty much getting to see how it goes uh, gotta go back because we knocked these off I gotta go put them back on the ends like so okay and that all has to be double clicked so they're the appropriate sizes to the wood so let's see we'll go over here go up like this so you should have something that looks like that by now if you're using micro blocks if not well I don't know what you might end up with it looking like so we're gonna knock the tops off these for now because they're gonna end up being in our way anyways so we're gonna go here oops too high go here we're gonna come across the tops of our posts just like so where it's like that go jump up let's see here's where it gets really fun to try to figure it out apparently we get to knock off the tops of them down there too here replace what we took off there whoa a little weird all right there we go this is what you should end up looking like now if you are using these now the minecraft uh, micro or the micro blocks the gates won't do this so my advice would pretty much just take your uh, oak covers and do it because the gates won't uh, you know, try to state it for you say they won't do what they're supposed to do so it just does not work very good um, let's see here all right so now we're like that now that our inside is done uh, you're gonna go ahead and come back up to your roof go like this we will finish filling in the whole thing like this I'm going to pause the video finish filling it in and I'll be right back all right Pause it there for a second, even though you may not have noticed. All right, we're going to put uh, some torches in here. Actually, that torch can't go there because that's where our ladder is going to be. You know what? I think, let's see. Yeah, that's where the ladder is going to be. So, um, let's see. One torch. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to go over here and over there. Get a little bit of light in here. So we can see what we're doing all right I took and I went and finished filling in this spot here it was grass I went and finished filling this little spot in here uh, if you have carpenters blocks you will come here if not use your regular minecraft ladder but we are using carpenters blocks which gives us uh, ladders that we can make them whatever color we want so I am going to make them black actually it's iron but in this texture pack they kinda look like a I guess you'd say kind of a weird gray but as you can see they work like regular ladders and all that fun stuff up here will be the hayloft 
of the barn we actually are going to put some haystacks up here and we will finish roofing it um, carpenters uh, slopes are kind of an interesting thing to lay down just connect them end to end so what I usually do is just do something like this right here we're gonna take this back up this is just kind of a temporary thing you can do it makes these guys lay a lot better doing it that way um, the carpenter's blocks you can pretty much make them whatever color you want we already got a color picked out for them for ours um, I'll do this one side and then I will pause the video again complete it and then I will come back and show you what it looks like but you're just gonna continue building it up like this with uh, whatever you want stairs are a little more easier to uh, do than the carpenter's blocks but they don't look as cool as the carpenter's blocks do so just gonna continue doing this across the roof oops they get a little carried away so anyways and then what you will end up doing that one I'll leave but just so you see what you do you're gonna go back knock the cop the red wool out and actually I am using giant red flowers but you're gonna knock the red wool back out because there is something we are going to do in here to make it look a little more livelier so you can knock it out you can leave it like this or you can take the carpenters uh, slopes turn them upside down like so so it just sort of takes that square look out of them uh, if you're using if you're playing regular Minecraft use your stairs just put them up upside down still looks better than just a square hole in your roof there um, oops just go like that uh, these ones are a little bit more of a pain usually I end up going like this and then I go in like this makes you kind of go why didn't I do it to begin with before I put the floor in but I wanted to show you guys what you did um, okay there's the, how you get them down at the bottom uh, let's see I gotta go back to my oak wood planks kinda gotta fill in the holes I just made in my floor of my hayloft remember keep this open now what you can do you can go back with your oak and do this to it like so see it gives it that nice little wood look so anyways I'm gonna pause this again and complete this side and I will be right back alright okay this is what it would look like from the outside whether you used the carpenter slopes or stairs you should have something like that and this is what it looks like on the inside all nice and pretty not just squares I haven't knocked this uh, red wool uh, red giant flowers off yet because we are going to put a carpenter's prism slope it will be what completes the point of our roof it runs across like so um, if you are playing regular Minecraft, you have to use the, you know, because when you meet on a odd like that, you have to take and uh, use half slab or the slabs. Uh, this block, you want to actually bring it out too. And for that matter, you're going to bring out that one by one, that one by one, that one by one, that one by one, and that one by one the reason we're doing that because we want to give our barn a little overhang so now you're gonna go back like this gonna come up here complete your thing out that makes a point you knock that one off like that and we are gonna pretty much do the same thing back here as we did up 
there. Going to bring it out by one. Oops. Well, actually, that one by two. One, 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 and one. And I'm going to do the same thing down there. Going to put uh, that on there. See how it does that. Going to put one more. That way it pulls it into shape. You're going to knock them off. Now, that's how you complete that one. Now, we can take this one here, and you can now knock these out right here if you uh, did that. And you're going to go back with your oak wood planks, and you're just going to come across like this. Uh, don't accidentally click on your carpenter's things because it will make that the color of the block, and that's not what we're after. So, all right. Going to come back down here, knock these off like so. You're going to come down at the bottom, turn your slopes upside down or your stairs, whichever you're using. You're going to go like that. That makes that nice little end right there. And you're going to do that on both ends. And I am going to complete both sides of this off camera. And then I will bring it back and show you what we do next. But all you're going to do is repeat this same thing on this side here. Okay. All right. Then, let's see. That's what it looks like on the inside. Pretty snazzy, huh? All right. So as you see, this is the ends right here. This is what you should have, whether it's with carpenter slopes or stairs. It should at least resemble this to a certain extent. Okay, I like the look for my roofs uh, uh, to be uh, to where they somewhat look like a roof. So, the best I could come up with, if anybody got any better ideas, be sure to let me know, is uh, cracked stone bricks. And all you're going to do is you're going to go across and click your carpenter slopes like so. If you use the stairs, you will not need to do this part. But if you are using a modded pack like I am, you will need to do this because I'm pretty sure you're going to use carpenter slopes instead of stairs. Um, you're going to go across. You're just going to fill them all up like so. Again, if you use stairs, you can skip this part. We are almost done. Sorry if the video came out a little long. Again, this is the first uh, uh, try at trying to make a video. I hope you guys like it. Uh, I'm sure I'll get some keep your day job uh, comments, but you know, at least I got up here and was willing to try. More than I can say for most people. So you're going to just keep going. Uh, I will do this one whole side so you get the general idea of how la how it looks. Again, I am using the John Smith Legacy Texture Pack. I want to give him credit for it, or them, whoever made it. It's a really nice texture pack, especially for old western builds. Uh, pretty much, this is what it's going to look like. Um, here's the inside. Uh, we will put horses in these. They do have room for the horses. Um, I'm going to skip that on this video. Actually, I'll put one just so you guys can kind of see it for yourself. Again, this is upstairs. Uh, there is a way with the uh, modded packs to actually use lights instead of torches if you would like to. Um, let me go out here and see if let me get the spawn horse egg will give us a horse and there we go as you can see they fit now oh, there's a donkey baby horses they pretty much fit sometimes they get a little glitchy into the wall but as you can see they are clearly appropriate enough to fit the horses to where it looks realistic as far as in the Minecraft sense. Um, 
because I like using decorations, I am going to put a haystack with a fork, pitchfork in it and a regular haystacks. Uh, let's see, we will put a regular haystack right there. As you can see, it looks like hay, has a nice little pitchfork. We'll stack a couple of hay bales kind of randomly in that corner. Maybe a couple of random ones right there. Go upstairs. Just kind of more or less, you know, scatter them around. Whatever you want to do. After all, it's your barn. I'm just kind of giving you a general idea how to do it. Um, you can. The gates will go across here. I'm not using them. I'm going to do another... Uh, thing with uh, micro blocks, but you can, they will go across this. Um, so, anyways, this is what we have so far. That's what it will look like on the ends. This is from the side. I will finish this side off camera. I will, and then I will get back with you another time. Okay, as for the most part, get myself up in the air here, it is done. As you can see, I may not have did the video very good, but it's quite a nice little stable. If uh, you're building a, like, old western town, it would pretty much fit right in because it's more or less a stable instead of a barn. Um, we're, I'm going to build some more uh, western buildings down through here. Uh, and on this side, um, I'm going to, the next video, we are going to work on a water tower, which will be right here. I already got uh, four little red marks for it, but as you can see, it came out pretty nice. I'm Mighty Tim 2015. Hope you've enjoyed the video. As usual, like, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, tune in. We will get some more videos out as soon as we can. Thank you.